everyone. My name is Michelle Minnick-Curve, and I am known online as Exceptional Shell. That's my professional name online. And I am an autistic self-advocate and a blogger of my own blog series called The World of Autism. It's meant for sharing experiences on the spectrum for autistic self-advocates, families, educators, you name it. Everybody comes on to be able to promote about with acceptance, advocacy, you name it. So the guest that I have on today, and it is such an honor to have him on here, and he actually doesn't know this yet, and this recently just happened in one of my college classes that my professor shared his story uh, for the week. And it was such, it, it was, mind-blowing and I cannot wait for you guys to hear about my guest and so my guest here is Marcus Boyd. How you doing Marcus? How's everybody doing? How are you doing? And again thank you for letting me be on your amazing incredible platform and please tell your college professor I am beyond honored. I didn't know that but I'm beyond honored and um, you know definitely sending love and support to your school. Absolutely. I definitely will 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 let my professor know that. It happened it happened prior to this. So I it it was mind blowing. <laughs> it definitely was mind blowing. So let's start this off. Uh I know that you would like to share your journey as an autistic, such as like how long you were nonverbal for and like what age you started talking at. So would you like to share a little bit? Um, I was born with autism. Um, I got diagnosed April 12th, 1993. I was 10 years old um, by Dr. King and Berta Looper was my therapist. Anna Gibbs was my speech therapist. Bob Ordner was my behavior aide. Dorothy Carr was my social worker. And the list goes on. Um, I was 13, 13 and a half, speaking at a two-year-old's level. Um, I didn't start speaking like this until I was almost 18. Um, I had, um, I had um, what is called um, adult tantra tantrums. I was on everything from Ritalin, Paxil, Depakote, Lanthium, Seroquel, Zoloft, 500 to 1,000 milligrams of pills, two to three times a day. I was in therapy till I was 21, from four years old to 21 years old. Um, I had problems using the bathroom on myself till about 19 years old. Um, I was doing adult tantra tantrums, meaning jumping on people, biting them, scratching them, the whole nine yards until I was like 21, 22 years old. Um, I'm 38. So again, um, I've been an autism activist for going on four, five years. So yeah. Wow, that comes to show just for the world to know that comes to show that like anybody can grow and develop. Don't give up. Like you, you it makes such an impact where where you're engaging with with the individual and stuff. So it's so important that you are there for them. And it comes to show having a good support system of people from the community to impact one individual's life so i thank you about with sharing a brief of your journey and everything and it's truly just incredible and it's so different for everybody it really is different for everybody and stuff and you mentioned about with being an um autistic uh activist what does that mean to you well i mean it means my it means everything that's my life I mean, I didn't get in this because I researched it or I read about it or I thought that, oh, it'd be cool to be an activist. I got in it because this is what God gave me. He gave me, he blessed me to have autism. So why not try to be a voice to make changes, to help in laws and rights, to help in events and programs, to help in more therapies and, 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 and more inclusive situations? You know, why, why not me? because God allowed me to go through whatever trials and tribulations I went through concerning autism. So now I understand it from a literal sense versus a researchable sense. Absolutely, and it does make sense. It just comes from 
just living life from the, from experience and that's what you know i think that's more powerful than just reading from research and books absolutely absolutely and i can now see why my um in a way from when your story was shared in my uh professors in my class from my um from one of my professors that she tries to like share actual people's stories versus like from reading stuff so yeah just to let you know that that was again that was mind-blowing <laughs> and stuff so I mean it's mind-blowing to hear it you know from this side <laughs> of it you know because it's like you know you just want to touch one person if you can touch somebody else other than that one person then it's a blessing it's a benefit but you know when 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 you hear stories like your story or anybody's story you just want to be able to touch one person one person to get it so if anybody else get it besides that one person is more of a blessing right absolutely i agree with that i absolutely agree with that so now i want to transition to where what have you been doing lately that's been promoting uh more awareness about autism? Well, I've been, I've been having these webinars in London and um, speaking engagements in Dubai via uh, video webinars. Um, I'm starting Autism Love Radio. Um, you know, of course we got the clothing line, we have the shoe line, the A3 shoe apparel. Um, you know, I, I gotta go to Detroit to, to speak with the NAACP about autism and medication. Um, I have to go to North Carolina to speak about autism and inclusion in sports. Um, you know, so it's, it's, it's just been a lot. I have to speak this Saturday about a missing girl that's been missing in Arizona for two years and she has autism um, in the Spanish community. So, you know, it's, it's bigger than just a certain community. This affects worldwide. So, you know, active to see as far as changing laws and, and, and adding laws for the rights of autism. So this is just some of the accuracy work that I've been doing. And that definitely proves it right there. Like, that's what it means about when you're going to the advocacy level of it, moving on from the awareness and the acceptance. Now we're taking it to this level where it's like, we got to put into action. Now that we have been educating it, now we gotta take it into action. That's what that's what it means to make that kind of difference here in a way and just doing it hands-on versus just even though yes, educate educating is just as important too, but it just takes this more to the next level. So absolutely you definitely should but you know there's a bunch of people again there's a bunch of people that works in autism that may not be able to get the spotlight or to be heard or something of that nature. So my head goes off to everybody that works in autism that's fighting, that's doing the same thing that you're doing and many others are doing to help raise awareness and a voice for, for not a cause, not a disorder, not a diagnosis, but the love of autism. Absolutely, absolutely up to that level. So thank you about that. Thank you. So now we're going to transition to now more of where your career as well in the music industry. So now that you are a music producer, can you uh, tell us what inspired you to get into uh, music producing? Well, growing up, I didn't have no choice. My grandmother said either music or church. So it was, it was either one, one or the two. I couldn't be like my brothers. I couldn't do or make decisions, whatever they was doing. I couldn't follow the pack. My grandma said I had to be different because I am unique and different. So she said, it's either church or music, you choose. So being nonverbal, I pointed to the wooden flute and she sent me to band camp. So going to band camp, I learned how to play different instruments be around different people and, you know, the rest of this history. Wow. Just from, from your grandma's perspective, 
saying that she wanted you to do something different than your own than your own siblings and stuff it just you know do you feel that do you feel have do you feel music's like an interest to you like anyways just because your grandma told you to go to that into that career i mean i was in concert band marching band playing eight different instruments since third grade so i mean i, I think it was in me but i think she forced it to come out of me um, you know, growing up in the projects, we're not given a lot of resources. We're not given a lot of options. So, you know, if you if you got a jump shot or if you, you got music gifts or you can dance or if you educated, you know, those things, that's where my grandmother wanted me to go instead of the streets. You know, by being having autism, we can't even think about going in the streets because we can't we're not on the same type of situation. And again, growing up in the projects, you're, you're taught to be tough first versus when you're going through a situation like autism. Hmm. I see. And also that you also brought a point, which I think a lot of people should take note about this, is that to follow what your interests are because they really can guide you towards your future your future your career everything so it's i mean music saved my i ain't gonna lie music saved my life exercise it was music and exercise and again that's why i have to shout out kelly jones and raleigh north carolina with beyond my expectations and everything that she's doing that she's doing um uh, miss taylor and um montgomery alabama with divine network solutions i mean these people because they're teaching autism children and teenagers and adults different ways to survive in, us, in society, that you don't have to be the status quo, that you can learn skills and you can be different and you can use exercise and you can use different things to be a success. Exactly. You definitely need a balance in order to, to be successful. Like you have to make that kind of balance like to take care of yourself and also just to apply yourself in the world. So that great message right there. And so, so what we have as well that I feel like there's definitely more resources in the world today. Like it just keeps on growing because of the amount of like with the amount of advocacy work and just in general that we're, yes, there's still work that's needs to that, that we still need to work on, but we're definitely going in the right direction. Do you feel that too? I do. I mean, with, with, with anything, we are only one person. We can't tackle every issue that, that happens, but if we go step by step, brick by brick, we can make real and effective change. Exactly. Exactly. So, Marcus, what do you have that, uh, what do you have next that's coming up for you? And what advice do you have for autistics who are pursuing in music? Um, we have the book series. Um, I definitely got to show some love to the amazing PR. Um, Allison Sanders out, of, out there in Birmingham, Alabama. She's helping me with a book series. It's called The Book Feast. And um, we have a book coming out. It's called Marcus, The Hero Inside. And I have a comic book coming out. It's called Supermarkets, a comic strip. Uh, we're working on a short film about my life. Shout out to the, um, the award-winning movie director in Atlanta, Tina Bridges and the TLA agency and amazing actors and actresses. They, she had working on the short film about my life. It's called The Boy With No Voice. Um, uh, let's see here. Again, Kelly, Kelly Jones out of Raleigh, North Carolina, we're working on inclusion with autism, the support in this sports, um, bringing awareness and bringing exercise together with autism, with her, with her amazing company, Beyond My Expectations. Um, I have an award show gala in, in September to speak at um, with the Quad Kids Fashion Week with Ms. Gordon. Um, it's a, it's a lot of stuff going on, <laughs> but 
what advice would I give to people who want to do music is, you know, you have to have determination. Fame ain't gonna come overnight. You ain't gonna get super famous overnight. You have to have determination. You have to have that skill set and that faithfulness and put work in. Forget about money or fame. You have to do it because you love it. You have to do it because this is your passion. And, you know, doesn't matter if you have autism or not, you can be successful with music or financing or you know, be a lawyer, doctor, whatever you want to be. Because in our community, we are intelligent, geniuses, very creative, talented people. So we can do anything. Exactly. That is such a powerful message because it truly does, like, just to do what you love is like so much more important than about with money and fame and that's like for anything really not just with music but for any career wise and stuff for the future that's what you should be focusing more on because that's how you live a successful life not just focusing on like with money and stuff so very powerful message Marcus so so appreciative about that and to wrap this up, where can people find you online? Uh, my website is getting done now. AutismActivistMarcusBoy.com is getting worked on. So for now, you can find me social media sites like Twitter at Boyd Autism, Facebook at Marcus Leonardo Boyd, um, Instagram at, at um, Autism Activist Marcus Boyd or the Orange Couch Chronicles. Or people can call me. That's 520-330-0242. Again, my cell phone number is 520-330-0242. I mean, reach out because it takes a movement and it takes more than one person to affect change. So all voices deserve to be heard. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Marcus, for coming on and to share your experiences as an autistic and just everything going on today. Well, I'm honored you to allow me to be on your amazing platform. Continue to use your amazing voice to be effective in this community because you're being heard, you're being seen, and your work is, your work is being appreciated. So continue to do what you do. Thank you, Marcus. Really appreciate that. And just for everybody to know, you can follow me as Exceptional Show. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, TikTok. I even have a YouTube channel where I have all these guest interviews that you get to watch, including, including here with Marcus. So, so that is a wrap up with here. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>